While the rest of the Nigerians were celebrating the victory of Super Eagles of the Nigeria over. The Bafana Bafana of South Africa at the African Cup of Nation 2024. The Nigerian nurses woke up on the 7th of February 2024 to an unpalatable news from the regulator. A lot of photos have surfaced online to depict what the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria is doing to the nursing community such as the one showing on my screen and also there are a lot of campaign going on for Nigerian nurses not to accept the new verification guideline. In this video, I'm going to explain the implications this will have on all of us whether you are in Nigeria or in diaspora, and whether you are a new graduate or an experienced nurse if this new information is allowed to stay in nursing Nigeria. Subscribe to this channel, like and share, and click the notification button for updates on this matter and everything migration. If you remember that from late 2023, the verification icon on the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria website disappeared and left. U.S. in limbo. A lot of people actually saw this barbaric guidelines coming, but we felt that that would be too regressive in the 21st century, but apparently... On 7th of February 2024, the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria released a two-page document as you can see with a crucial 10 points. Here are some of the key highlights. 1. Eligible applicants must have a minimum of two two-years post-qualification experience from the date of issuance of permanent practicing license. Any application with provisional license shall be rejected outrightly. This implies that, first of all, you cannot apply for a verification immediately after your nursing school, not even as an intern, because at this stage, your license is provisional. This has the potential of keeping a new graduate for a minimum of three years in Nigeria before they could start any migration journey. Two. The worst part is that the council shall request a letter of good standing from the chief executive. Officer of applicants place S of work and the last nursing training institution attended and responses on these shall be addressed directly to the registrar, CEO, Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria. We all know what devilish employers can do and has done to nurses, ranging from denying receipt of any verification request or even ultimately bullying any nurses with such requests. 3. Another one says that the applicant must have an active practicing license with a minimum of six months to expiration date. We don't have any major issue with this in as much as you can allow us to renew our license at any point before expiry so that we have that more than six months grace. To request a verification, the applicant must upload certificate S of registration only. Notification of registration is not acceptable. We also don't care about this too much in as much as the certificate doesn't take years to be released to the candidate but once it takes several months, we say no. No no. 5. A major big blow also is that the processing of verification application will now take a minimum of minus one six months. This sounds so ludicrous as you will want to ask what exactly they would be verifying for six months. Ha 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 ha. This comes at a time when it only takes a few clicks from your portal to send your verification to any country from the UK, USA, and Maldives to mention a few. For your information. This jargon in the name of a guideline is set to take effect from the 1st of March 2024. In summary, we want to say thank you to the NMCN for not promoting and maintaining excellence in nursing, education and practice in line with global best practices. We appreciate them for taking sides with the enemy of nurses in Nigeria. Let us know your thoughts on this matter in the comment section. Thank you for your time. Hashtag Noden